Eric is uh, non-verbal autistic. We have awesome. a little girl named Layla. Um, she's on the autism spectrum disorder. She also has sensory integration disorder. Uh, we have a son, Mitchell, on the autistic spectrum. He uses a hodgepodge right now, I guess it's the best way to describe, of communication. She's using minimal sign language and she was actually banging on the table, just hand to let us know that she wants to eat, mm -hmm. you know, so we were like cave people. <laughs> you know? Some pulling of your hand, some, you know, he'll let you know what he wants to do. He'll point, he'll, we do have from time to time, we've used the pictures. And I have a son, Justin, who's six. He does need a picture to schedule um, to show him what is coming up and, and what to expect. We were turned on to the um, picture schedule simply because it really would help organize him, uh, quell his anxiety. I've gotten very good at creating on the fly uh, type of books and one of the problems we had was by the time we got the books together those books got very outdated very quickly. What we have is a laminated piece, some laminated pictures. I would sit down and I'd print them out and then I would have to cut, you know, put them through a laminator. We lose them, they get torn up, they have something happens with them. I started to draw them and I found they didn't have a lot of uh, pictures that we needed. Mm -hmm. and, and then Velcro, and Velcro it on to different schedules. I would have to cut them you know, attach Velcro, make my own boards. We were kind of hitting a wall. I mean, it's just primitive. And by pulling these massive things out, you're basically saying, hello, I have a child that's different here. You know, I want everybody to know that. And at the same time, you're trying to have him blend in. He watched me with a picture schedule scrolling like this and moving my finger from watching me that one time. He took it and was like, what is this? recognized some of the photographs and just started right away scrolling. It brought us to tears. Uh, the first day we came home and Sarah, I think, was, was playing with it. She showed him the wash your hands. Oh, and he just, he just, boom, he went off to the bathroom and started washing his hands. I was amazed. It had a lot of great features for the kids I work with, which actually um, fall under a range of abilities. So um, it worked very, very nicely for some of my LD kids and children with ADHD. And it also worked very, very nicely for a lot of the kids I work with that are on the spectrum. Seems very easy for him to follow, you know, whatever directions we wanted him to take is really easy. Like, uh, you're gonna take a shower now, you're gonna brush your teeth, you're gonna put your PJs on. So it's very magical, you know, the way he does everything. He seems very excited. Occupational therapy, you know, just not as a speech pathologist doing therapy, but the occupational therapist thought, you know, boy, we could really use this where we are too, in our therapy sessions. Because we did use a timer, we are starting to potty train him, so we found that that was really helpful. Actually taking a picture of him sitting on the toilet was really helpful. Um, and then the timer um, really tend to keep him on task, and um, he actually was laughing with that, and he, he seemed to enjoy it. I love that it gives it him much more independence, uh, and for me, much it's, it's easier for me. It's less for me to have to carry. I took it to the school and showed his teacher and um, the speech therapist and they thought it was a great thing. And I was able to take pictures that he actually uses at school. So it was a great carryover from um, school to home. It just was nice to not have people staring at us, you know. eliminated a lot of that like just that waiting time and the great thing is you carry it around you know mm -hmm. you can go into the bathroom okay make sure this is next now wash your hands now you get to the kitchen you go and you can take you know carry a notebook all around with you so mm -hmm. it was it was really great like that just just the ease of just here it is it's right here boom 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 um it, it's it's great that you could put as many as you want in that schedule um whereas a strip you're limited here, here it is, and then you have to turn it over, or then you're changing all the pictures again. Wait, let me find that page. Where happened to that picture? I get to be with my daughter without the temper tantrums. I'm serious, I'm gonna cry. For a lot of parents to be able to travel with their children um, easily and to be able to be out in the community a little bit easier, I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, I love the spontaneity of it, being able to um, t 
take a picture whenever I needed it. This is very fast. You just take pictures. I take pictures of his toys around the house, everything. It's easy, it's there. You just show it to him. If you go to places, you know, it's, yeah. I think it's really good. Yeah, I mean, it's so convenient because mm -hmm. if you want something, if you want it, if you buy something new or you see something you don't have in your book, just take a picture. Yeah. You know what I mean? It just kind of fits into the whole philosophy of an iPhone. You have your email, you have your music, you have all kinds of GPS things. And then to just have this really useful tool for this subset of folks, it just works perfect. And I would buy one for not just myself, but I would also buy one for the school, for his aid to have the ease, ease of use and how portable it was. and. Um, I just think it's going to make a difference.